Okay, so here's another example of what is one using fractions. And this time we're going to use a hockey team, the Minnesota Wild. So we are looking at one line of players. There's five players per line on the ice. So one line of players is our whole. So five players out of five is going to be the whole. Now we look at one player of those five on the ice, or one-fifth. So Zach Parisi is one-fifth of the team when he's out playing on the ice. And so one-fifth of that line would be the fraction. And finally, of the entire team, we're looking now, looking at the players on the bench and the subs. So if there's 26 players on the team, we want to figure out, okay, how many lines could we make with those 26 players? It's 26 players over 5 players per line. And then we can use that to create a mixed number. So if we were to divide, 26 divided by 5, remember fractions are the same as division, 26 divided by 5, we would get 5 remainder 1 fifth. So we can make 5 lines and another 1 fifth of an additional line. Here is another problem for you to stop, think, and do. This is with the soccer team. You are going to be looking at the whole, which is 11 players. And so there's 11 players um, that play on the field on the soccer team at a time. And then you are going to look at the entire team, which consists of 18 players, and use that to create your improper fraction and mixed number. And finally, what is one player out of those 11 as your fraction? Now we're going to be looking at how we interpret one from a decimal standpoint. So for this example, we're going to look at a basket of strawberries. And you'll notice there are 10 berries in the basket, and this would be the similar basket you'd buy at the grocery store. We're going to consider this as our one. So 10 out of 10 berries in the basket, or one basket, are our one, or 1 1.0 or 1.00. So if we want to look at just one strawberry, maybe we're asked to see how many people could have one strawberry from the basket or some similar problem to that. We're going to be looking at one berry out of the 10 total in the basket, our one-tenth of a basket, or 0 0.10. Now what if we looked at where the strawberries came from, from the strawberry bush? We need to figure out how many baskets we can fill with one strawberry bush. So there's 52 berries in a, ba or in a bush and 10 go into each basket. So we'd have to do 52 divided by 10 berries. And you'll think, okay, 52 over 10, that's our fraction. Well, that equals 5.2 as a decimal, which basically means five baskets and two tenths of another basket. Next, we're going to look at the hockey team from the per decimal perspective. So we're looking at one line, or five players per line is going to be our 1.0, or our 1. So five players on the ice is our 1. Then we're going to be looking to the entire team. So 26 players, and that 26 over 5 again is our fraction, because there's 26 players on the team, five players per line. We do our division, 26 divided by 5, we're going to end up with 5 and a remainder of two-tenths of another line. So we'll have five whole lines and two-tenths of another line. And our one player, he is going to be one-fifth of one line. So one divided by five is 0 0.2. That's one-fifth of the line.